Hello everyone, and welcome back to another in the series of eClinical Works training videos. We're going to continue with the progress note today, and we're going to cover assessment, treatment, and billing. So, as always, we start at the top of our progress note, and let's head downward. Past all of the subjective, into the objective portion, past that, and here we have assessment right after the objective portion, right before the plan. So let's go ahead and click on assessment. And there's a reason why we're starting here today. So here is a previous diagnosis. Adding another diagnosis can be as simple as clicking on an ICD code like this. Make sure it's 10 and not nine, because anytime it's nine, as the color suggests red, that means we should stop and not use it but we have a fib down here immediately. Notice that the P stays only next to pernicious anemia, which was there before. That's our primary diagnosis. Next, I'm gonna show you another example. So you can also type things in. So let's try something else. And see, migraine is going to come up in various different formats. So let's choose that one. And remember, you can always clear or get rid of something. And if there's a diagnosis that you like and you're going to use often, remember there is this option to star next to it. And so it'll become one of your favorites. So just as an example there. And see here we have the DX and that's our assessment cartoon shortcut. So let's exit out of that and see it's immediately added with the ICD code in the assessment section. Now moving on to treatment, because this screen needs to be updated now, we have AFib, whereas before we didn't. So when we leave the screen, there should be an AFib present over here. But let's go through the different options we have. So here we have an add note, and this can be something very um, unique. You can just write whatever you'd like here. So let's write diagnosed last week at primary care. And see, that's going to have the note right there. Next, we have the eClinic Sense button. And this is going to give us an option to select certain things. Now, up here, the screen may look blank. But down here, we have the description. And notice that you have a variety of outgoing referrals here. This is not the only way to get a referral. In fact, I'm going to show you a different way in another video to get referrals, but this is just to show you, to illustrate that this is an option. So, got that. And finally, we have the order set button. Now remember, these are order sets. So it's going to come with various things all together. Ordering individual things can be done more efficiently from a different screen, but, here we have different options. As you can see, these are mostly diabetic options. Why? Because up here, it's the diabetes order set. Now you can see there are many different order sets. The benefit is that this quickens your ordering capacity. However, the downside is that you'll have to do the same orders every time. So those are the pluses and the drawbacks. So for AFib, choose hyperkalemia. Collect select, for example, see, this is what it's going to look like for whatever you happen to choose. So you've got medications, labs, etc. You even got little warnings over here, agents that cause hyperkalemia. I can go ahead and close that. Now let's go into pernicious anemia for a moment the same thing. So if you scroll down, you can see there's more here, such as immunizations, appointments. You can even do referrals from here. Now again, I'm not going to do that today in this particular video. And there's even patient education and even certain notes that you can select as such. And notice that you can add other things here. So for example, you can add a diagnosis. And let's just pick one that's handy. See, now we have a third diagnosis from here. And it instantly appears. You can add other things, such as labs. And 
And here we have another option. And see when I press send. I can actually send them out to certain people. And you want to make sure that this particular checkbox is green. Otherwise, that means there's something here, usually a fax number or something like that, missing from here. But it looks like everything is ready. So we apply selected, and we can send. And see, the selected orders were successfully processed with this patient. So now we can exit here. And let's exit out of this. Now let's just look over billing. Now this is going to be cursory. It's just going to be so you understand how to work with certain things. But when you press on visit code down here in billing information, see we've got all of our diagnoses from before. And remember, we can always add a new ICD code here, whether by description or ICD. So let's just try something. And we have a new code here. And we can always delete as well. And there's also CPT codes. Now, it's important that every patient gets a CPT code, but also an EM code. So by pressing EM, we have various different options here. I'm going to choose one of the more common ones. So for a newer established patient, you have under preventative medicine. You also have under health services. So let's choose this one. We're going to choose a typical office visit. See, so it's selected by this X here. And now we have two different codes. Also note, the primary diagnosis is still marked by an X. And here's our appointment. So that's what this would fall under. You also have the option for follow-up, so we can easily delete this. And remember, you can type in anything you'd like, but here we have certain shortcuts. So let's go ahead and pick two months, and that's what it's going to look like. Reasons, follow-up, for example. Now, supposing you're finished with everything else in this note, you can click Done. And screens like this will come up with other quality measures that can be attached. We're not going to do that here. And that's what that's going to look like, see? And I've already sent these out, but I have the option to send them again here. And the progress note can be sent to any fax number that I'd like. So not going to do that here. But here, that's what this is going to look like. So hopefully this has been helpful. This was just meant to be an overview of the treatment assessment and the billing. This is valuable to finish up your notes, to tie any loose ends, and to get moving with your next patient. So thank you for your patience, and until next time.